Hello, my name is Daniel Ripley from CG Dreams. What we're going to cover today is some basics of 3D modeling in general, which can be applied to all 3D applications. Also, things that apply to you in the way that you approach a project. I'm going to be going through some key elements that help me to deal with certain processes and structures of shape and how to visualize a project. Also, I'm going to be showing you how and what tools best work for me, and they may also work best for you also. Although there are many tools in which we can use to enhance our creativity, there are some basic key tools and user interface features that we have to understand well. These fundamental basics are as follows. The first area that I'm going to be directing you to is the preferences within Hexagon because there's some features and settings that we really need to set up. So to access the preferences, we go to the edit menu and we click on preferences editor or the alt and P key on the PC. I want to direct you to the 3D display first of all into the advanced tab here and I want to just show you about this local redraw. What this local redraw does is it will update all the edits that you do on various viewports, either simultaneously or an individual viewports. As an example, if you had four viewports showing, say the perspective, the front and the, and the right hand side, whatever you edit in, say, the perspective view can automatically update real time in all the other views simultaneously. If you have this turn ticked on, what it will do, it will only apply the edit for you to be visually seeing this in one particular viewport. And it will only update when you've completed that edit. If your PC is rather slow, then you can actually make sure that you've got this ticked on. But if your PC is relatively quick, make sure it's unticked and then you can see all of the edits simultaneously on all viewports. If you've got a graphic card in your system that supports hardware OpenGL, then it's good to have the VBO turned on. This enables for fast interactive um, moving around in the display and the things that you visually see that use OpenGL. If your PC struggles, you may want to turn this off to no optimization or something similar to this, just a bit faster. So this something is that you might want to sort of like play with depending on the graphic card you've got. Sometimes if your graphic card is not um, really supportive of this, you may get visual problems. So turning this off or to another setting like maybe faster can actually help get rid of some of the visual display problems that some people have with their graphic cards. If you notice down to the left hand side of each and every one of these settings, you've got an R there. This is just simply so we can reset to the default settings on this particular feature. Also you'll notice that you've got reset all preferences. So this is going to reset everything within this um, preferences editor. If we just go to the user interface, MISC here, we can see that we've got maximum undo levels. This is something that you may want to alter depending on the power of your system that you're using Hexagon on. And this could be very handy if you want to undo multiple levels. So that's something else that you might want to take into account as well. Another thing I just want to show you last of all is the size of the universal manipulator. This can be very handy um, when you're working with different size monitors and depends on your eyesight as well. So you may want to increase this or decrease this accordingly. I will explain a little bit more about the universal manipulator in a minute. Finally, when you've done all your settings that you want, just click on validate. 